Okay, so we weren't able to put the sump basin in the first spot. So we've got to move it over. And you know, remember there is a brick paver patio buried underneath of four or five inches of dirt. So I'm finding all the pavers, the bricks, just getting them out of the way. And hopefully as I dig down here, I'll be able to get deep enough without hitting any more lines from that pool. So you can see all the pool return lines right beside me there. But we need to get this basin down in here and it needs to go down two feet. I don't know if you noticed or not, but I'm all by myself. And this just illustrates and shows you that you can do these jobs yourself. Take your time. You might crack a pipe, but be prepared for that. Don't panic. Just make the repair and keep on working. Okay, after a little bit of work, <laughs> remember we had to make a repair here. That was a return line that went over to the pool. And of course it would have drained, I don't know, six or eight inches of that. So, you know, five, 600 gallons. But we made that repair underwater. Got our sump basin in. Our line is gonna discharge out through behind the fence and go to a pop-up. We've got something to contend with here. You can see there's a footer here. So this used to be an enclosed patio. See that footer? But we're gonna, it's deep enough, we'll go right underneath of that. Because this is such close quarters, in order to run the concrete saw, we need to remove this fence. So I took a section of the fence out and we'll put that back when we're all done. Next, we'll run the concrete saw. This is kind of fun, but in this court, close quarters, and as hot as it is, I mean, it's pushing 99 now, and you can see I'm just covered in sweat, <laughs> but it's normally pretty fun. What I did find as I ran the saw is there is rebarb underneath of this sidewalk, which is kind of unusual in a sidewalk. This made it a little bit more difficult to crack it and break it as you see, but pry bar, keep hitting it until it cracks across. Remember the secret to do this is that when you run the concrete saw, cut clean through the concrete. You've got to get all the way down to the bottom. And if you do, you'll be able to lift these pieces out without any problem. This large piece, as you watch as I pull it up, you'll see the rebarb. You see how it's cracking. The rebarb's holding that together. And that's a big piece. Rebarb. So it's about 11 o'clock. We're almost done. Remember, just keep your smile and you'll get this. Here's a little detail of how this goes together. This is the outlet of that NDS channel drain. And it really just snaps in place. Can you see that? It goes on the end, you snap it in place, and it's done. Here is the end cap. Remember, we need an end cap because this is buried in the concrete, in the center of the sidewalk. Same thing, you just snap it together, it's all done. I mean, it's super tight. So you can see how this is gonna set up. <clears throat> We're gonna square it into the center of the trench. <clears throat> then we'll dig a little bit down here where the outlet is. You can see how it sticks up a little bit right there. Center it in your sidewalk or whatever. And we're gonna slope the concrete into the channel drain on both sides. Comes this way. It's gonna come over a couple of 45s. It'll turn and go into our sump basin. And that all gets buried. One other thing that we're going to try to do is here on the back of the channel drain, we're going to drill a hole. Hopefully I can get a one inch hole because we need to connect. Can you see that air conditioner line? You see all the water over there? It would be nice if we could get that. We can't tie into the sewer. That's illegal. But maybe we can bring that over, bring it through the concrete, and tie into the back of the channel drain. Once you have things laid out, don't forget to tape the grates shut. Notice I put tape all across the grate. And yes, that is centered. It doesn't look like it, but make sure that you center your piece of channel drain into the sidewalk. Line comes over, discharges right into the sump basin. I've attached the one inch condensation drain. You can see that ties in. 
and got the channel drain all taped up so that when we pour concrete it doesn't mess up the grades perfect line i put the level on there we've got tremendous fall coming over to the sump basin we're ready to pour concrete hey this is chuck with apple drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something i guarantee you can do it have a great day